Hey everyone, I've recently upgraded from analog FPV video to HD video using the DJI FPV system. For the quad, I'm using the Cadex Vista transmitter mounted on the Beta 95X frame. The canopy that Beta FPV utilised for this combination has been repurposed from another transmitter, so the fit of the Cadex Vista is far from ideal. In this video, I'll show you the canopy that I've designed for it, which you can 3D print to. With the human zero day exploit out in the wild, we've been asked to adhere to some social distancing rules, such as staying at home, keeping 1.5 metres apart from each other, and hashtag delete Facebook. So this is a great opportunity to design something new. Here is the canopy I've created, printed in blue transparent TPU filament. The design allows the camera to tilt between 15 degrees all the way up to 45 degrees within the canopy, using the dual screw mounts on either side of the camera. The camera lens does not protrude past the canopy, hopefully protecting it in a crash. There is some space above the camera where the canopy can flex and absorb impacts. The transmitter unit cradles inside the cavity on the lower portion of the canopy, locking it in place without fixings. You need to bend the supports out of the way to slot the transmitter unit inside the canopy. The transmitter unit orientation must be installed with the antenna connector on the same side as the antenna slot. The antenna slots into the side of the canopy at a 45 degree angle. A cable tie is used to clamp the antenna to the canopy itself. Here you can see I'm pulling on the antenna and the entire canopy is flexing with it. This is important as these antennas have a tendency to rip away from the transmitter during a crash, potentially damaging the unit in the process. Finally, the canopy is attached to the Beta 95 X frame using four self-tapping screws. With the Cadex Vista removed from the TPU canopy, the final print weight is approximately 5.5 grams. Keeping it light was a major design goal as less weight equals better flight performance and much longer runtime. It was printed at a 0.2mm layer height, 20mm per second print speed, two perimeters, and two top and bottom layers. No supports required. As always, you can download my designs for free from Thingiverse. Links below. Before printing in TPU filament, I like to first test print in PLA, as it's quick and easy using PLA filament. It gives me an opportunity to check the size and weight early in the design process to make sure I'm on track. I designed this canopy in Fusion 360. I started with an outline for the Beta 95X frame mounting holes, then the transmitter cavity, then the camera location and tilt behaviour, finally a loft to join the camera portion to the lower body. I must have sunk a day into this, chopping and changing along the way. In Australia, I think the restrictions will be eased somewhat next week, and I cannot wait to fly with this system. Anyway, I hope you're all staying safe and keeping occupied. See you soon.